a missile falls from the sky, killing a grandmother and nearly killing her two grandchildren, not because of what they did, but who they were possibly near. I was in Pakistan, and the stories I heard were so radically different than the perceptions in the United States. I felt honor-bound to do whatever I could to tell the story using film and to try to bring these people to the United States to gain a wide audience for their story. For the very first time, members of Congress heard from two reported survivors of a drone attack in Pakistan one year ago. Everything was dark and I couldn't see anything. I felt something in my hand, and I looked to my hand, there was blood. The blood kept coming, the blood wouldn't stop. I know Americans think drones are the answer, but I wish they could understand how I and other children in my community see drones. The drone program has been extremely damaging to America's image. Every time that we take out one militant, we seem to give rise to the hatred of thousands. And if you ask people why, the answer is this program. And so we have to judge not just the benefits of the program to our security, but also the costs. The first step in the long legislative process that could ultimately lead to changes in U.S. drone policy. The CIA targeted drone strike program in Pakistan is winding down. Better is not good enough because we're starting at an extraordinary low level and a policy that by all evidence is not making us safer. So I welcome the steps, but a lot more needs to be done. Innocent people are being killed and the policy must change. I hope I can tell my community that Americans listen, that America is not just drones that terrorize us from above, but a country that listens. And maybe, just maybe, America may soon stop the drones.